Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are having an amazing day. So in this video, we'll create a small React app and then we'll deploy this created React app in Azure Cloud as a web app. So let's get started. So uh, in this session, we'll cover React app creation, then Webpack configuration, then Babel configuration, then build folder setup for the deployment, and we'll create a web app creation in Azure, and then we'll deploy our React app to the Azure as app service. So let's uh, create a React app. So I have opened this official documentation of React. So here are the steps to download or create a React app. So there is one command that is npx create React app. With the help of this command, we'll create a React app. So let's go to the terminal and just first I'll just change the app name as first app and then just click on enter. It will take some time to create the React app folder and then we will do its installation of packages. So once it's done, then we'll open the project and then we'll start our React app creation. Yes, so app uh, required installation is done and then I think the uh, app is created. So let's go to the folder. So uh, my first app uh, is created, the all the required folders and uh, the setup is now created with the help of that command. Let's go to the VS Code and then open the project. You can see the app.js is created. And so all the required packages are available uh, or present in this package.json. So let's just modify our app.js. So we'll just remove those things. I think remove the header. Save. We'll just create one heading. Let's save it. Let's do the npm start. Start our React app locally. So it will take some time for starting the development server. Development stop. Uh, it's starting the development server. So let's go to the browser, and if you see, app is created and welcome is printed on the UI. So what we'll do, uh, we'll just uh, use this as app, and we'll deploy this app on the Azure apps as web app. But before that, uh, we have to configure uh, this React app with web Webpack and Babel. So we'll see how to configure the Webpack and the babel so let's get started uh we'll create or we'll configure this web app, web pack uh, in our uh, react app so i have copied some of the required commands so let's open the notepad uh, so those are the required packages that need to be installed while uh, in uh, web pack configuration so i will copy this one command and then just install the required packages. So it will download the required packages. Let's open the package.json. So all the uh, required packages are downloaded. So let's uh, create a webpack config file. Uh, so, so create that webpack config file in the project root folder. So let's create webpack dot config .js file and then let's copy I have already uh, created this config file so let's copy all the content and paste it in this config .js file and just save 
So I have uh, copied this webpack config file uh, and in that uh, we have two main thing that is entry and output. So entry field specifies the entry point of our application that is index.js and uh, the output field configure whether the bundle could should be generated. So our bundle will be created in the dist folder. So in this uh, the dist folder will be created and then all the bundles of webpack uh, or configuration or bundle file will be generated in that dist folder that will cover in soon. Then I think we have done with the webpack.config.js file. Then, uh, then once we done with the uh, webpack configuration file creation, then uh, I have to install these loaders uh, for the CSS and all the things. So let's install this style loader and CSS loader. Once uh, once we done the installation, then we'll start the configuration of Babel. For Babel, uh, we have to create babel.rc file in our root. Let's create one more file. Dot RC. And in that, uh, I will. So I have already copied this Babel content, Babel file content. So let's copy this and paste it over here. Let's save this. And let's just start our app locally. So do npm start just for checking everything is working correctly or not. Then we'll build our app and then it's a bit starting, it will take some time. So now uh just create a build folder for that. We have to hit this npm run build command. So once we hit this command, it will create a build folder in our app folder structure. So you will see the build folder will be created over here. So once installation is done or the process is done, so then it will create a optimized production build. And if you see the build folder is created over here and all the required bundle will be generated in this, it will show you the index.html, JSON and the static ideas and all things will be created. So let's before uh, going to the Azure section, we'll just check uh, our build folder is uh, working correctly or not. So for that, uh, we have to install uh, this command npm install that uh, globally serve and then serve with the dist folder or the build folder. So let's hit this command. Oh, my bad. Here. So it will install the serve. And then let's clear the terminal and then just hit this other command that's all. Yes. Then we have to enter the build folder here and then so when it started our local and then it works so let's cross check if it's running in this moment or not it's open so if you see our app is loaded so it is on printed on the UI so yeah so we have done with this the bundle now also we have created the build folder so it's ready for the production or ready for the deployment so let's go to the azure portal and then we'll create a web app and then we'll deploy our react app on the azure so login into my free azure account and in that let's create a web app i already created for previous projects so let's create one more time so let's click on this plus icon for create a resource so in that we have to create a web app click on the web app and then if you see the subscription uh, i'm using the free account so it's coming in the already populated that is a free trial and the web app name so let's 
create a web app name uh, so techno atom demo put this so if you see the green tick is present so it's available or we, we can use this name then i'll publish this uh, web app as a code and then the runtime stack i will use uh, you can use uh, there are multiple options so uh, i will use this node 20 latest version then i will deploy this on the windows then we have to choose the region so i'll use the best europe then Go to the planning prices so it will I'll use the free uh, here uh, the list of windows plan but uh, it, it uses the default one and then just click on the review and create button so it will review all the required things and then uh, if everything is okay then it will set up our web app so let's create so initializing development is started so it will take some time to create a web app so now the process here is getting started deployment is in progress Now our uh, deployment is completed. So let's click on the home menu and then just if you see this techno or um, demo is all present. So web app is created as techno or um, demo. Just click on this techno or um, demo. So it will open the overview page in that all the required things will be present here. So the resource group uh, in the Azure, you have to create a resource group and then all the services will be mapped under this resource group. So I already created this Technorum demo group and then the default uh, domain that we enter that is Technorum demo is present here and then the status is running and all the required information will be presented over here that we selected while creating the web app. So let's click on this link. It will open our Technorum demo uh, Azure.net link. So now your app is running and waiting for your content so we have already created a build folder so that we have to just deploy it uh, in the azure so let's go to the folder or before that just go to this overview page and then here we have to use uh, search this advanced tool and then in that click on the go button so it will open this uh, window and in that we have to deploy our or de uh, paste our build folder so in that we'll create on i'll go to this debug and console and i will use this there are two options cmd and powershell but i'll use this cmd it will open the console panel and then uh, we have to Go to this site folder then in that site folder we have there are three options and in that we have to go we have to select this www.root folder and in that root folder we have to paste our build folder over here before that i have to delete this it will ask for and then just go to our build folder I will minimize this and then just copy all the content and just drag it and paste it over here. So once we done with this other thing, then just close this window. Again, go to the home. 
and then just click on the default menu or do default domain. Now you can see our build folder is loaded successfully, and then our React app is available on the internet or it will be deployed on the Azure server. So that's it. So, so far, what we have done, we have created a React app with the help of the required installation steps, which is available on the React documentation. Then we have configured the webpack. Then we have configured the Babel, which is required for the build folder creation. Then we have set up a build folder. Then we have created a Azure web app. And in that, we have deployed our React app as Azure app service. So that's it. Thanks. Thanks for watching.